for my July 2021 TBR and I have a uh, few books to tell you about and then I am going to do Bookopoly again because that is my summer project and I'm excited to do it again and see what books that I end up picking. Um, okay, firstly, it is July, is Jane Austen July, which is hosted by um, fix that. Uh, Claudia from Spinster's Library, Katie from Books and Things, and Marissa from Blatantly Bookish. Now I, over the years, you know, more recently I've been very much Victorian literature and not reading as much Jane Austen. I have never officially participated um, in Jane Austen July. This year I feel like it is the year for me to officially participate, but I am not doing all of the challenges. I'm doing kind of minimal participation. Um, but I am planning on watching a few of the, uh, a number of the adaptations. Um, and I'm excited about that. So I think I'm really craving. Well, okay. I'll show you. Where did my July books go? Here they are. I had to grab them. I, I I'm just all disorganized, but I'm going to be reading Emma. That is the Austin I want to read. I am toying with the idea of reading Lady Susan as well because, are you ready, I have not read Lady Susan. I keep leaving it there because I'm worried I won't like it. And if I haven't read it, then I won't know that I haven't, that I didn't like it. <laughs> but I really want to reread Emma. The last time I read this was with Emma from Bookish Princess when we went to the um, Jasna Emma Day and we read this in preparation and I loved it. So that was my second time reading it. I love the story. I say that Emma is tied with Pride and Prejudice. I find the more humorous Austens, like in the recent years, are the ones that I'm more drawn to. I'm very excited to reread Emma. And then I want to watch the 2009 Emma, not 2020 Emma. Not. But then also um, rewatch Emma Approved, the YouTube shorts series. I love that. Um, and then I am going to try. Anne from Disney Princess Lessons loves Frances Burney and um, says that, uh, you know, Evelina is talked about a lot, but she thinks Frances Burney has better books. And I did get the Kindle version of Cecilia, but it is a big, chunky classic. I don't know if I'm going to feel like I'm in the mood for it. You know, this year is just not my year for reading big, chunky classics. Uh, we shall see how I feel. But then I also want to get from the library the letters of Jane Austen. And um, yes, I really, really want to want to read those. And then, I mean, I love so many of the Austen um, adaptations uh, that I'll probably, I might just watch one of each, except for Mansfield Park. <laughs> uh, it's like the bane of every Jane Austen fan's existence that, you know, Mansfield Park hasn't gotten a decent adaptation. But <laughs> Um, then also I am going to be reading The Other Bennett Sister by Janice Hadlow and I'm going to be doing that as a buddy read with uh, Megan Hannett and then I think it was Christy Lewis also. I did read this in February. I loved it so much. I want to read it again and my hold will be coming in on the audiobook. I want to do the audiobook again because it was such a delightful experience. Um, so yes, that is my Jane Austen July participation. I'm not feeling optimistic about Cecilia, but all the other things I definitely think I'll be reading. Then I am hosting a read along of Coming Home by Rosamund Pilcher. This is a beloved book that I have never reread. I want to get back to it. Rosamund Pilcher is definitely the vibe and aesthetic I've been longing for with my reading this year. So it's about time I picked one of hers up again. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be hosting a Zoom discussion. So hopefully I'll be able to coordinate with everybody for a good time that works for everyone. And then the next book in the Fierce Women um, Reads book club that I host with Melina from Melina Reads and Naomi from Naomi's Bookshelf um, is Harriet Tubman, The Road to Freedom by Katherine Clinton. This was my pick this time. We rotate with who picks. And Harriet Tubman uh, had a lot of physical maladies that she regularly had to deal with. And obviously she is such a amazing lady. Uh, so, you know, an amazing woman who did amazing things living with all, you know, while living with chronic illness, I want to learn more about her. And I am looking forward to reading that. And um, that is the July August pick. So I'll probably start it in July and finish it up in August. 
And then for my Patreon book club, my read along most Victorian Patreon book club, um, a couple patrons were allowed to uh, suggest a couple books for the poll. And um, the mayor of Casterbridge, which uh, Christy Lewis picked, one. So The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. This is a Thomas Hardy that I really liked um, and it is so pacey um, and I think really fun for summertime. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to reading this and discussing with the ladies to see what they all think of it. And then um, for my Summer of Suspense project, which I'm having um, the most fun just being excited about it and I'm really looking forward to the first Zoom discussion. And um, the, Ju the July pick is The Burden by Mary Westmacott. So Agatha Christie writing under the name Mary Westmacott. I'm very excited for this. I'm guessing it's going to feel kind of like a Mary Stewart or maybe more like a Phyllis Whitney, which is a bit darker. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, then let me just shift myself and move you over to the Bookopoly board. I will try to hold it as steady as I can for you, but this is the setup that we have. So I'm gonna roll five times. Okay, a chance card. Let's see, water. Okay, something to do with water. Seven. So I'll just re-roll because I decided I didn't want anything negative on this board. So I'm just going to re-roll. Another chance card. Listen to an audiobook. <laughs> Very doable. free space so I can just pick any book that I want to. Uh, two more rolls to go. Nine. And that is a middle grade. Okay, I had to double check <laughs> what the yellow category was. And then the last roll is Yay, a mystery. Okay. All right. So firstly, I will look at the mysteries and hmm. Okay. I think I want to give myself two um, options for the mysteries. And first, I want to get the first book in the Aggie Morton series, which is kind of like, it's a middle grade. I think it's supposed to be like Agatha Christie when she's young and Hercule Poirot when he's young, pairing up to solve mysteries together. I think that's what it is. So I'm going to write this down before I forget it. <laughs> um, and then the second Beatrix Potter mystery. I'm really craving that. So I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put the picture up here. I will choose from the two of those. The next one was um, a middle grade, and I knew immediately when I saw that what I wanted to read, and it is A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. I think this has a nice sister relationship, and um, I just heard a lot of great things about this series during middle grade March. So I know the first in the series is called A Pinch of Magic, and I really want to read it, and um, I'm excited about that. One of my chance cards was Water, and I want to try to read The Noble Smuggler by Sean Ann Bessie. This is um, set in Cornwall, and um, I do really love the notion of things being set then. Sean Ann Bessie is a sweet romance author that I haven't read anything by her, and I keep hearing good things about, and I hauled this book earlier this year, so I want to try it. And I do love um, the, where are, yeah, this picture they have printed on these pages. I think that looks really cool. All right, so that is my pick for water. And then the other chance card I had was listen to an audiobook. And I think I'm going to do another Clyde Edgerton. I listened to Walking Across Egypt by him, and I loved that. 
Um, so I want to keep listening to more of his books. And I think the one following Walking Across Egypt set in Lister, um, uh, the set next one is Rainy. So I want to read that. And Rainy from Rainy Day Reads, if you are watching this, <laughs> I always think of you when I, when I hear about that title. And then lastly, I'm going to go a little bit crazy with the free space. Okay, let's get this. <laughs> um, I really want to read some fairy tales in the month of July. So I'm going to say um, uh, I really want to read some Cinderella retellings also. Um, so first is Earl of Highmont Hall, which one of you lovely subscribers told me about. I did not know about it. Um, so I'm happy to know about that. It is a Regency Cinderella retelling. And I love the sound of that. Um, then Just Ella by Annette K. Larson, which I heard about on Bookstagram. There's one Bookstagrammer, um, Melanie at, I will link her account because it's a great account. Um, and I, I haven't heard anyone else talk about this. Uh, and I just, I want to read it. <laughs> um, then this is not a Cinderella retelling. It just sounds very unique. It's called Summers at Castle Auburn. Um, and it sounds a bit like Juliet Morillier kind of book. And I love the sound of that. And um, I will probably do the audiobook of that. And then lastly, um, Ella by Jesselyn Stewart Peasley. Okay, so going a little crazy with those. But then you know what? It's, it's, uh, these are ones I'm very much in the moment excited. I want another good romance. So let's see. And then I'm going to add um, a couple more romances. I want, you know, frivolous reads for summertime. So um, first is An Uncertain Choice by Jody Headland. Um, and it's about Lady Rosemary, who had, be, had been prepared to become a nun on the day she turned 18. But shortly before her birthday, a friend of her father's um, enters the kingdom and proclaims her parents' will left a second choice if Rosemary can marry before the eve of her 18th year. She is presented with three, the three, most handsome and brave knights in the land. But when the knight's arrival results in a series of attacks within her land, she begins to wonder if the convent is the best place after all. And the other one is going to be an M.C. Beaton Regency romance, part of the Love and Temptation series I'm very slowly reading through. Um, and I love the narrator, Lindy Nettleton. Um, and it is about Henrietta Bascombe, who opens a confectionery shop um, in order to turn her pittance of an inheritance into a fortune. How fun does that sound? A candy shop in the Regency era. Like, I love kind of um, in a historical setting like that, some kind of interesting occupation, like in Julie Clausen's, um, what is it? The, the Inn at Ivy Hill, um, you know, being an innkeeper, it's so interesting. So that is my here, there, and everywhere July TBR. We'll see how much I actually read, um, but right now I'm very enthusiastic about these. Um, fingers crossed that Cecilia is just a hit with me and I can't put it down because I would love to, um, love a new classic author. Thank you as always for watching and I will be back with another video soon. Bye.